tape says when the volume comes back, so will the price. Look at quarterly volume bars below and how they match price action quarter over quarter. AMC holding up well considering how low the volume is. Algos can be overwhelmed with an up bids. Sharing positive news is key. Drive sediments. This is in regards to how AMC has been trading as of recently. The daily volume has been very low. What is it going to take for the apes or for other institutional investors to get back on board? Another catalyst or something bigger? For a company that's destined to fail, I sure as heck am having a hard time buying their popcorn at Walmart. It's like the video game consoles in 2020. You couldn't find them anywhere. It wasn't because they were new or popular. It's because the inventory shortage caused the company to be unable to produce enough consoles to meet their demand. But this product, AMC Perfectly Popcorn, I don't hear about a shortage of corn. Do you? That's right. There isn't one. AMC Popcorn is just selling that fast. And I've talked about this before on multiple videos at different times. It's impossible to find the popcorn, at least around my area. I've went to multiple Walmarts. Comment down below if you're able to find it in your area. Remember the volatility during the squeeze. Remember and remind or educate others of the huge peaks and valleys in price during a squeeze. We can go from 50 to 150 to 35 to 300 to 100 to 800, etc. Do not freak out. If you've been in this play for a while, you know exactly what this ape is talking about. I remember vividly many, many times well holding onto my shares, where I'm down a ton on my shares, and then all of a sudden I'm in the green by hundreds. And then all of a sudden, I'm also down back again by hundreds and back and forth, back and forth. Don't freak out. It's all a part of the process. You'll see massive dips, but patience will show you massive peaks afterwards, at least hopefully. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. This ape says, I don't trust anything anymore. When it comes to mainstream media, critics, analysts, celebrity endorsements, it's all sus. Critics tore up the Mario movie. Took my wife, her boyfriend, and the kids. Best movie I've seen in a while. I laughed a lot. I even cried. Nostalgia. And the whole place erupted at the end. But the mainstream media said the theaters are dead. Nope. There were more people at the theaters in the mall that it was connected to. The critics said that the movie was crap, but it was amazing. And as we were leaving, everyone agreed that they would pay to see it again. The analysts say sell. I shouldn't even have to say it, but inverse grammar. I buy a hodl and don't care what anyone else thinks. Very well said. This ape says why I'm here. I'm 37 and I've always been upper lower class. I've always survived, but I've always been broke. There have been many things I could have invested in, but didn't. I didn't have the money at the time. Any of the newer tech companies, Bitcoin, etc. But when the meme stocks broke out, I picked that one that made the most sense. I'm here so I don't miss out again when it happens, or if it happens. I won't have the regretful hindsight about not investing in AMC when I could have. Now let's be real here, AMC is down a lot from the all-time highs, but from where it's trading at right now and for the actual fundamentals and all of the bullish catalysts that the company has in front of it, does it seem at this point like there's more upside or downside from here? I guess only time will tell. 